this is, and I'm pissed off about it. I mean, it's bothering me. I'm friends with you. I'm bothered by this. I'm bothered. The only thing that I could think of was the Bobby Tomlin incident that Carrie and I talked about that could have been brought back up to you. That was the only thing that I could possibly think of. That was one situation where I talked to Carrie about it because our friendship was totally in a bad place. And she was upset about the Bobby Tomlin thing. I said, I talked to you about it. I said, even Amy sees it this way. Yeah, but a lot of things that I said to you, like when we had that conversation, she'd repeat it back to me. Well, you think I'm this, you think I'm that. And those are all things I said to you. So yeah, you told her the insulting things I said about her. Like she wants to not be accountable for what she says? They need to come in and confront me. Are they just, are they too afraid to confront me? Jody, hey, y'all wanna have this conversation? Y'all can bring your asses in here. I can hear y'all. That's fine, and I want you to hear me, Carrie. Well, come on and bring it. Cause I think you're full of <laughs> You're twisting my words and I don't like it, Jody. I think that you're playing me and Amy and it's bull <laughs> You think I'm playing you guys? Yes. Be rational. Don't get all hot-headed. You're the one that came to me and told me all the stuff that Amy said. I didn't say anything about it until you started pissing me off and twisting my words and telling people I was saying I wasn't saying. Taking it out of context, and that's where it all came from. Carrie, you're quite manipulative. You told Amy that I said constantly that she doesn't like you? Yes, you did. Because the Bobby Tomlin incident it got brought up. It doesn't matter. And yeah, I said, we had already Amy agrees with that. me. And don't twist but my words. And then you went You're the twisting car. my words, No, Carrie. you're twisting mine. I never you said, said those that exact Amy words. didn't like you. The confrontation and tension was between the two of you, and you no, would constantly ask me. No, there was There's never any tension between That's us. That's the thing. There wasn't. It's awkward for you, that. not for us. Why did you were the one making it awkward, not me. The whole thing is there was never anything awkward between me and Carrie. Never. I don't think I made a big issue how much I hated Carrie. I never said that you did. I think it is completely unfair that I got brought into the middle of this. I felt uncomfortable because I felt close with you and Amy. I think that you felt uncomfortable about it, but I didn't. And then when Amy was sitting here that night, we started talking about it. And I'm like, is there kind of weirdness between us? And we're like, no, there's not. So it's no, my fault that there was weirdness between you two? There was never weirdness. Oh That's the problem. There was I can't, never you know what, anything. Jody? I can't have a conversation with you, and this is why I can't. And because I'm, not I'm confused. To. I'm genuinely confused. Well, be confused, because everybody else isn't. They're not. You are, but nobody else is, OK? Jody's not being ganged up on. I'm just being passionate about my conversation. I want to show people that you're not going to run over me. Yeah, I'll be waiting no, outside in the gym. I'll see you in the morning. Don't get too you. wasted, because I don't want you to be miserable. All right, girls. Have a nice night. Have fun, kids. Bye. Peace and quiet. <laughs> Jesus. Wow, where's that coming from? Like, I don't think it's cool to do that in like a, a big public setting like that. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't do that. I have more tact than that. Like, I care about other people's feelings. Because JoJo, I swear to God, they didn't like each other. It had nothing to do with me. They did not like each other. I constantly took up for Carrie, and I just really can't believe that she would betray me like that and then flat out, like, lie. But I'm not gonna let him get the best of me. I'm, I'm just not. I just have too much going for me in my life. Jody was talking about there being tension between Amy and Carrie. I'm sorry. There is. That's Carrie, right you were getting so fierce so when I was oh. hey, you know what? So Usually when I'm mad, I stutter. You didn't stutter once. The only thing that concerns me is like every minute she's saying, I don't do that, I don't do that. But yes. she does it the most. Like everything she's saying, she don't do. Or she doesn't understand understand it. That's not what it's about. Like you you do that. Like why? Like what are you saying? I'm, I'm so done. Uh, no, you're not, honey. When you go to bed tonight, she'll be up waiting. Do it now. Huh. I'm gonna leave. <laughs> You can't just hang in there. It's not a matter of hanging in there for me. It's just a matter of I'm just done with it. You know what I mean? We have like a week left. I don't care. I just, this for me like put things into perspective. Like this isn't what I need to be around right now. But I need to get, um, cause I'm gonna leave tonight. I'm gonna cry. Don't cry. I don't want you to uh, cry. I can't have you leave. Don't, don't, don't cry. <laughs> Why are you saying that? Because you can't leave. Why are you saying that? Because you can't. It's just not worth it to me to continue the fighting. I just want to put it underneath me and just get out of this process because this house is toxic and I don't want to be associated with it anymore, so I'm leaving. Why 
tonight. Damn you. Because I don't want to be here anymore. I don't see the point. I'm in a crazy house. I feel free to get out of here. I feel like I'm escaping prison. Is that it? Like I'm gone? <sighs> that was so quick. This is the best decision I've ever made. I'm gonna go to bed, pretend like nothing happened, because they can kiss my ass. It's none of their business. You're my girl. I wish you were here sooner. Don't make me cry. Oh, I'm not making you cry, but thanks for being loyal. The only one loyal in this freaking house. Thank you. Hi. Sorry, we need your help. I have a lot of stuff. You're just gonna go to bed. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. In there, you don't have much longer. Call me. I totally will. My face. I totally will. I'll see you before that. Bye, sister. Love you. Love you. I want to sit up front with you. Bye, honey. Don't cry. You make me cry. I've cried enough. Bye, baby. I think that I'm walking away with a lot of strength, and I feel that I'm leaving knowing who I am. If I have any regret, it's for staying as long as I did and not getting myself out of that situation. I just feel that maybe the girls in the house wanted to break me a little bit. Maybe they wanted to prey on, on weaknesses and corner me because they knew that that's exactly what I was against. That's what really pissed me off. So they won't break me. They're not going to see that side of me. Freedom. Ugh. Feels wonderful.